All new at 11, a warning about a scam targeting people at church. Now, the scheme involving gift cards has even used the name of the Archbishop, and he's talking about this tonight. CBS 4's Kerry Cott is live in Sunrise with what you need to look for. Kerry. Well, the Archdiocese of Miami told me that All Saints Church here in Sunrise is one of the parishes in the area where a scammer reached out to a parishioner to try to get money. I am told that that parishioner contacted the police to report it. Tonight, this is something that's being talked about at Catholic churches across our community, and the warning is going out for parishioners to be on alert. It's a scam affecting a number of churches in the Archdiocese of Miami. Church leaders say scam artists are preying on parishioners, pretending to be priests, and asking for money for gift cards for charitable purposes. Archbishop Thomas Wensky offered a simple message for parishioners. No Catholic clergyman will ask a parishioner for a gift card. Church officials showed CBS 4 News one of the scams that someone in the Archdiocese received. The message appears to come from the Auxiliary Bishop of Miami. Part of the message reads, I need you to get an iTunes gift card for some patients going through cancer in the hospital. And I promised each patient, but I can't do this right now. I will pay back as soon as I get back. Let me know if you can get it. Many blessings. Church leaders fear the scammers are getting access to the priest and parishioner information through public information on church websites and bulletins. We're told that some priests change their phone numbers as a result of the scam. And the warnings to parishioners are going out from the pulpit and in church bulletins. This message appeared in a Broward Catholic Church bulletin this past weekend. It reminds parishioners that the priest at their church would never text or email a parishioner and ask for money. Archbishop Wensky said the scammers have even tried to use his name to carry out their fraud. When they use my name, it just upsets you because you feel violated and you feel that, uh, again, uh, you know, nothing is safe. One church official told me the parishioners put their faith in their priests and want to help people in need. And this scam is taking that faith and corrupting it. Now, the technological world we live in uh, gives us some great things, but it also exposes us to some great perils. Church leaders told me that some parishioners have been victimized by the scam. I'm told that one parishioner actually sent about $1,500 in gift cards. It appears this scam might be happening elsewhere in the country as well. There was a recent similar scam reported in the state of Texas. Of course, if you want information on whether a request for money or a charitable organization is indeed legitimate, you can check out FloridaConsumerHelp.com. That's FloridaConsumerHelp.com. Live in Sunrise, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News, tonight.